When you're a kid and you went to the beach, you learnt pretty quickly that if you built a sandcastle in the really dry sand, you just wound up with a great big pile of sand. Whereas if you went to the really wet sand, it was all sort of a big slushy mess. But after a while, you learnt that just the right amount of moisture, you could get a beautiful sandcastle. What that is, is an understanding of materials and material properties and how different materials behave. Textual engineering is a specific field of engineering that deals more with structures and buildings. We're familiar with architects being the designers of buildings, but engineers also are a large part of that process. Uh, and often we find that architects and engineers, when they're working together on buildings, are talking two different languages. The beauty of architectural engineering is that these engineers understand design from an architect's perspective and so are able to much better uh, help architects in, in creating buildings and places. If you look at the work of Santiago Calatrava, who's probably one of the most famous architectural engineers in the world, his work does that. He pushes materials, he makes concrete do things that feathers should do. That's the beauty of architectural engineering is that these students understand the difference between those two professions and they're able to bridge the gap. What I've really loved about the course is the variety of subjects which I've been able to study. I've learnt a lot about architectural histories and theories in the context of politics and uh, development of society and I've also been able to had the opportunity to go to Christchurch for an elective subject to learn about earthquakes with a world leading professor in earthquake engineering that teaches at the university. I think architectural engineering is a great course for students who enjoy the mathematical side of things, understanding how things work and also enjoy designing. It's a really good blend. I work as a structural engineer. I undertook the um, Masters of Architecture course first and then moved into architectural engineering after completing that. I think one of my favourite parts of studying architectural engineering was having access to the architectural engineering studio and it meant that there was a collaborative area where students could come in and discuss things and there was model making materials in there um, so you could work together but you had feedback from your peers and it's very social but you could also learn and get your work done at the same time. Architecture isn't just about you know what it looks like from the outside, that it's much more uh, integrated than that. And also getting architects to understand that engineers are just as creative and, uh, and incredible designers as architects can be, but that they each have different skills and how can we get those working together uh, in the best possible way.